they started putting equipment on, and then it was a, a constant battle with the local dealer with the water system, trying to put the water equipment on. Things were leaking, things were installed improperly, and then it was just more time off of work for me, you know, trying to correct all these issues. I think I have it calculated as like 65 different phone calls and contacts with this companies for trying to get stuff installed in my house. You know, this all got placed on my lap. Mm-hmm. I'm not benefiting from anything on the hill here. I got nothing to do with that. Right. But I've definitely been affected by drilling. And people don't realize, you know, it's not just your water. It's your it's your water, it's your health, it's the air quality around it. It's all the, the time off of work to try fighting for your actual civil rights. You know, I shouldn't have to fight for this. It should just be there automatically. Right. Well, these people are just making it difficult for us. Have you ever figured up a ballpark figure how much it's actually cost you? Not No, I haven't really put time you know into that um, I do keep really good accurate records on everything that's going on yeah. and uh, calendars with everything that I've done and early on you know for about a year it's pretty much something at least three times a week I'm dealing with on this subject whether it's talking to air quality at DEP water uh, water treatment system the driller you know it's always something have you guys been to the town meetings and all that? Definitely, yeah. And had your say there? Yeah, I really suggest uh, utilizing your local government because that's what they're there for. Not all local governments have laws in place to protect people. So ours, fortunately, has adopted a, a munis- Pennsylvania munis- Municipalities Planning Code, and that's what's really saving us. It was part of that this road across the way here that they tore up and yeah I mean, you call that like a little minor victory right something yeah they've stopped up on the hill for well they they could shut them down from utilizing the roads. utilizing the roads yes. right. until well, they're, they're not built for those big trucks these roads aren't no and exactly. i see that everywhere i go doing this i yeah. see the same yeah. thing we were over in uh bedford county here i was and then we was like we were talking i was talking to this lady and every five minutes there goes the clip clop of the Amish carriage wow. and we were out driving around and we come to a T and I look up and here comes a cement truck at like 70 miles an hour mm-hmm. I look to the right and he goes Woof, around just missed yeah. this horse and buggy I was like talk about your culture clash yeah and we're pretty close to the road here and you know we have little children and mm-hmm. we're you know we play in our driveway and and the the, the heavy truck traffic is it's a huge, huge. Hill. Oh yeah, it's deep. and they're coming down with their Jake brakes on, and they were logging, and they were coming down like two in the morning with their Jake brakes. They on. log up there too. Well, they had to clear the area. Yeah. yeah, but you'll you'll be lied to by the driller, by the driller's people, by all those people. You'll just be. They know what they're doing. They're just trying to get in there, get it done, and deal with anybody that comes at them later. Mm-hmm. You know, once they get it in, then you know good for them because half the people won't speak up there's probably a lot of communities that don't know any don't know their rights and don't know any better and they're just going to let it happen and just get run over but there are laws to protect you and there are things that you can do and and utilize your local governments and and hopefully you have some kind of laws that do protect you because there's a lot of places that do not have anything i guess it was at tioga county or some people that came out to interview us, they were saying they don't really have a whole bunch of local laws to actually protect them. So yeah. that's that's going to be bad because they can just do whatever. It was just they like want. a citizen's group was curious about yeah, the process and stuff. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> so they asked Joe how it went, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it'd be one thing if, if drilling activity happened, they messed it up, they fixed it, and we're done. But we're nowhere close to done after several years of fighting we'll this. Yeah, you know, we're they not, haven't even fixed anything in the meantime. No, not at all. And and you have to fight for everything that you know is afforded you, mm-hmm. and uh, it's just not fair. So I I would like to say I'm I am i am for drilling activity. I, I said I have, right? you know if you do it right, great. That's I have no problems with it. You know I'll put up with the truck traffic. I'll put up with the inconvenience. And guess what? If you mess it up, you know I'll work with you. Mm-hmm. Just fix it. Mm-hmm. But they showed early on that they were just going to take full advantage of me, and I tried to work with people, and they just proved that they wouldn't, and uh, you know we just had to take it in a different direction. But you know, I almost would like to say, don't let it happen near you, because 
once it happens, you, you're screwed. And you guys never even had the chance at signing leases for the for the, any money out of it. Right? Yeah, it has nothing to do with us. This no. is other people's property. Right. So yeah, it, this this could happen. Your neighbor could sign leases, and you know it could affect you. So this one lady I talked to, her neighbors are putting one in. It's a monastery full of monks, or her neighbors. Oh, yeah. oh boy. The monks are putting. They're, well, well, I mean, they signed the lease. Or... I I'm guessing it comes from you know higher up, like somewhere higher up in the Catholic Church, but. Hmm. It's the, the monastery's land. It's a lot of money to be had. They're right. paying a lot of money and to, just to tap in. Seemingly there. shoots right out of the ground, right? Yeah, yeah. You, but you got to—it's a little invasive to get to it. Yeah. But once the damage occurs, I'm, I'm understanding you don't get your water back. Yeah. Once it happens, and, and ours is a shallow drilling. Ours is not Marcellus shale. What's the formation they're in? Do you know? I don't know the formation they're in, but I think they're they're shy of 2,000 feet down. Okay. So there, it is a shallow drilling, gas drilling. I would like to believe that Marcellus Shale. I've seen a lot of their cementing procedures, and it's a lot more. It's a lot more intensive than just one case of cement. Mm -hmm. It's several layers. So I really believe that if people are going to be there and, and supervise this and make sure that all the cementing is properly done, everything's done correctly, uh, and things are, you know, meant to cure and, and do what the, the law states that they're supposed to do, um, then I would like to think there probably wouldn't be a problem. And I think that's DEP stance. If you do it exactly the way we say you're supposed to do it, you shouldn't have a concern. Mm. But the concern lies is nobody's going to be sitting there watching. They're just trying to poke a hole and, and, and just get, get her done. So if, if that's going to occur, then it's going to be on a, a really big scale if, if something happens on Marcellus Shale. Well, like you said, not only poke the hole and get it done, but poke the hole, there's no cement return. That's okay. We're going to pressure it anyway. You yeah. pressure it too much. Well, that's okay. We're going to yeah. frack anyway. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah, you shouldn't have been able to frack a well. You should have been able to do any of that after yeah. she had to move on after that cement did not yeah, return. Yeah, that should have been plugged and... You guys were saying a little bit before about, I guess, tension, I guess is what I'll call it, from from editorials in the newspaper, and, and you guys said yourselves, you, you here on the street, and your uh, your neighbors, you guys have kind of made a stir um, in the community about this. What Talk to me a little bit about the tension. Like what we, You were saying your husband doesn't like you to take the dog out by he yourself. He doesn't like me to go places alone. <laughs> yeah? I got called out, I'm a teacher. And it wasn't even my class that it happened, but there was an environmental class. And one of the projects was when this big oil spill happened here in Hedgehog, that teacher sent kids out here to take pictures. Just, you know, it's part of the class. It's an environmental science class. Out here to, out here to, yes. to your street. Yep. And the kids were harassed. Uh, the drillers asked if I was their teacher. They told them it was a crime scene. They weren't allowed to take pictures or video footage. And if they did, they were going to take their cameras. Later on, I got spoken to by the superintendent that a school board member and a parent had called that I was demonizing these drillers and that I'm not allowed to do that and I'm not allowed. And I said, I haven't. <laughs> not that we haven't talked about it. You know, it was a whole topic about water quality in the chemistry class. I mentioned my water. What class? It, what, what I teach level? chemistry, juniors, seniors. Okay. I've never said anything nasty about the drillers. I've just told what's happened. Mm -hmm. Certainly I'm allowed to do that. You know, I said an example is like when that oil spill happened. I didn't say to the kids, oh, these people are pieces of crap. I said, you're supposed to have a dike around the tank that holds everything plus what? I think 50%, I think it is, of what's in the tank. So that if there is a spill, it doesn't get past that site. Apparently that wasn't there because mm -hmm. it's in the creek. That's what I said. Is the creek still oily? I'm not sure. No, I think we've had some pretty good rains, and uh, oh, they sure. did have a crew that and came in. And she said, well, if you're that. not an expert in the oil and gas industry, you can't say that. And yes. I'm thinking, well, why can't I? We teach the Constitution. The are we, that? yeah, are we experts in the Constitution? Are we experts on Nazis? And But we teach all this stuff. That's a pretty good point. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't say, oh, they're negligent, and they did that on purpose, and those jerks, I did, I, there was no editorial. Well, what if a kid were to come up and ask you, how did the Exxon Valdez crash? <laughs> why, why, why did it crash, teacher? Well, because right. the captain was drunk? Right. Mm -hmm. You can't demonize the captain, can no, you? No, right? she told me that <laughs> I had to, like, have them 
look at pictures of that site, which how, if we're not supposed to take them, and give them paperwork that says you should have a dike that, and let them figure out, oh, it should have had this dike. Well, if we taught kids like that every single topic, you'd never get past chapter one, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's really, I mean, college is It was just totally, it was harassment is do. what it was. Yeah. It was just trying to shut me up and kind of intimidate me in my workplace. Yeah. How about you, Dave? You feel safe? Safe? Not necessarily. I mean, we worry. And I think the big thing would be all the negative articles. And, mm -hmm. you know, and then, like, uh, we've been trying to get the city water run up here, so we have reliable water. And, of course, you get articles in the paper where people's opinions are a little different than that. Well, they shouldn't be paying for something that we, well, we need reliable water. Bottom line. And you ideally, guys, we agree. We don't think the taxpayers right. should have to pay we for do it. Not we think agree the driller should have to pay for it. The driller is the problem. They should pay for the water. But when that doesn't happen... Because you guys happen, were happy on your wells before, right? Oh, Absolutely. wonderfully happy. Yep. Yes. You couldn't have paid me to take city water before this right. happened. I love my well. No. And you got the, down the hill, what, two tenths of a mile is where they have city water. They're in the same... They're paying the same tax as you guys are. Yep. Right. Same township. Yep. Yep. Whatever. Same township. Yeah, I'm not sure. But similar taxes. So there's some. Our houses up on our street, they range all over the board from I can only imagine to you know a million dollar homes to you know fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. So went, we're all across the board with doctors living on. I, the I drove all the way back down to the other side, and there's some big houses, and there's some yeah. big houses in that sleepy hollow down there. Yeah. Ironically, they are getting city water because they had a petition. I think it said in the paper, 15 people signed a petition that they would like city water, and so they're going to get city water. There's only like 15 they're houses having in the no, neighborhood. But, but this hill, we need slaughter. They've got no water issues. They just want to have the city water. They're going to get it. We've got issues, and we'd like to have it, and we can't get it. They're, they're downhill. Right. <laughs> if they were to put wells in, they'd probably have the issue. I mean, that's just a guess. Right. Yeah. But it's... This last guy I talked to over in Bedford County he told me he must have been 30 times that day. Well, it rolls downhill. He didn't say water. Yeah. But that's, <laughs> and that, right. that was my deciding factor on testing my water. I'm like, you know what? If they were below me, I wouldn't test my water, but they're above me. Right. And they're the, it's... Well, even that, if it's gas rising, it's the problem, obviously, we have right. you know, water that was catching on fire. They're going to go yeah. right by your house and up above you. Right yeah. Down. Now, they're saying, you know, they'll give... They'll give letters out to pe the driller is supposed to give out letters to people with their water supplies within a thousand feet of drilling to notify you know homeowners that drilling activity is occurring. Now it's been determined that I'm within that thousand feet, but I never got a letter. There was another neighbor up the street, the same thing. So there's some iffy you know issues with that. Uh, regardless whether you're in a thousand feet or not, if you're having problems. You can still contact the DEP, and they still will investigate. And if they do, they can determine whether, you know, if, if drilling activity has occurred, you know, and, and has actually interrupted your well.